it down as the best we can fast. Don't fuck it. Okay? And then I'll come down the street and down to the floor here a lot of times. Hello, <laughs> um, I'm Anna Hook. I'm American from the United States. I've been in Kandoka since end of February. Um, I was doing a research project there on marine predation and so I was, I was a student, but I also I was a volunteer as well. And there are great things about it. It's a great location. It's had a lot of success in the last 15 years. Um, I think it's, it's vital to the com community. There's a lot of um, income that's drawn in. Um, but there are problems, and I think this year there might have been more problems in past years. I'm not quite sure what past years were like. But we had issues with Semana Santa that um, clashes between the community and the volunteer organization, and it was it was different. It was difficult because there were clashes everywhere. There was clashes within the Nai. There was clashes within the actual community, and it was really hard to find your place as a volunteer and to figure out what exactly you were doing there again. When sometimes you would kind of lose lose what was important. Um, I thought that within the Nai exactly uh, there were. Just kind of lack of communication, lots of communication breakdown between the locals and the volunteers, um, like explaining what needs to be done, why it needs to be done, what exactly we're doing. Half the time you're out there volunteering and you don't know why. You're building something, you don't know what you're going to build. You just don't exactly know what's going on and a lot of it has to do with um, the communication. I mean there's so many different languages thrown around. But I think it could be organized better and I think something could change because there's so many times where you're just doing it because you're happy to help but you don't exactly know what you're doing. And that was really difficult. Um, um, the families in Gandoka are great. The, um, the living situation was, was it worked out. Um, I think I was really lucky. I lived with a, uh, the Sosa family. It was right by the beach. I had good family, good food. Um, it was it was really it really worked out. Um, hearing from other volunteers, for the most part, it was good. It was there was kind of a um, everyone paid the same amount of money, and it was kind of different what you would get. Like if you paid the same in my house compared to the living at a volunteer at the Anai Station, where you were living in like this shack and the food wasn't very good. It was just interesting that you were paying the same amount. So that was kind of odd. Gandoka was kind of split in half. Um, there was the people for an eye and against an eye, more or less, and the people against an eye had, um, well, it was between volunteers, getting volunteers and not getting volunteers, just economic reasons, like getting, want the, the money from the volunteers, and if they're not getting assigned volunteers, which was a big reason why from past years, just trying to balance it out, just wasn't working. So there was a um, conflict one night on the beach where a research assistant was smacked in the face. Um, and it just wasn't resolved very well. Uh, the family that, or the, the man and the, his family that were involved in the conflict that smacked him actually got what they, what they, were, what they wanted, which, <laughs> I mean, you smack someone in the face and you get what you want. It just didn't make sense. Um, so that was really frustrating for the volunteers as well. Um, just and, and again, not really knowing what exactly was going on. I actually left uh, the day after that happened, so I didn't see the immediate um, immediate consequences. But I definitely heard about them a lot, and I definitely know that a bunch of volunteers just were so frustrated that they left because they it just wasn't a, an environment that they wanted to be um, included in. But it has a lot of growth to do. Um, but I think they need to figure out more like. You have these volunteers at certain houses, and then other certain houses aren't included. So they're not getting any money, and these other houses are getting all the money. Like it should be kind of spread out a little bit more um, so that everyone gets a piece of it. And I think if everyone got a piece of it, they would all feel included, and there wouldn't be so much strife um, within the community. But I think that I think the volunteers are still definitely needed to be an integral part of the project. It, 
it's just not set in the, I mean, seeing what happened at Samana Santa with, um, I mean, the beach was like stormed at night with so many people. And, and I mean, it, it was, it was their right to be there. Of course, their, this is their home and this is their beach. But there just wasn't the level of um, respect and education about the, the actual animal that was there. I mean, they just, they, there wasn't the respect for the turtle, um, which is what we're trying to do and we're trying to build. And I think it, it's, it's improved, obviously. I mean, in the last 15 years, there's been such a huge success, but I think it still, still needs more.